What's up, my peoples? Engo here, the freak and geek himself, and welcome to another exciting episode of Engo Build Stuff. This is where I teach you how to grow papayas without the papa. Just yeah. But moving on with the Eagle Moss slash Fan Home Ghostbusters Ecto 1 kit. We're still on issue 36. This is the uh, third assembly of issue 36. So here we have the magazine. Here we have our parts. So let's get down to it. Cause as always, ain't nothing to it. But to what? You know what? To do it. That's right. Alrighty, let's see. What do we got here? We got that. We have some uh, zip ties. And we have some more hoses and whatnot. Alrighty. Lovely. Is that everything? That is everything. Get out of my life. Get out of my life forever. Open this up. And hey, you cooperated. Kinda. Kinda. Come on. Open. I spoke too soon. Come on. You can do it. There we go. There it is. There it is. Now we're a big happy family. Alrighty. Okay. Screws in here. I'll just take these out, put them off to the side. Okay, so now we will open up our instrucciones, aike instrucciones. So we already did this. We did all that. We did this. Now we are here. Here are we. Here are we. Stage one, thirty-seven roof box pipes and heat sinks. Oh. In this stage, you assemble the roof box as well as fitting it to the roof frame. Oh. Cool, cool, cool. So, what are we doing here? So, looks like we are grabbing this big old panel here. And we are bringing in these panels that we did not use last week. We are using these this week. So we can take these out. So all of these, you can see here, they're like little engraved numbers. A one with an arrow, two with an arrow, three with an arrow, four with an arrow. And each of these panels also has a number with an arrow. So basically have everything corresponding. So three is going to sit here. What is this? This is one. One will sit here. Well, this makes it pretty foolproof, doesn't it? Even my idiot self can manage this. Two goes there, and four, I assume, goes right there. Cool, 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 cool. Just double checking my work. Yes, okay. That's the way, that's the way, it, the way it is on the picture, so I'm gonna go with it. Alrighty. So now that we have done this, uh, this will now go onto this, all this that we already put together. So let's see how we're going to make this happen. So we have some molded detail on this side, which is going to end up uh, just trying to do things upside down, basically. So it looks like we're going to end up with this on this side, question mark? This is probably wrong. Let me see what we're working with here. Nope. This has to be, I think, flipped the other way. I think we're going this way, I believe, is how we're orienting this. Again, I could be wrong, but we'll see what we're working with here. So, yes, that's the way it looks in the picture. Okay, so this is the way it's supposed to go. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so all of that is lined up. Oops. It's the point of holding it all together whilst we get it all lined up. There we go. Okay. Alrighty, so this needs how many? Three, six, nine IP screws to get this all secured into place. So I am going to get the party started real quick. Okay, we got all of our screws in place, and now, Wesker! So for the record, I've already enshnuggened like the majority of these screws, just not this last row, but I figured I'd let you watch me do a little bit of enshnuggening here. So there we go, that's enshnuggening number one. 
Schnagni number two. And our final and snuggling right here. Okay, oh, those screws are already snuggled. There we go. We have a nice little box, nice little box of technology here. A science box, big old science box. Alrighty. So now, what are we doing? Now we are going to be connecting this to the frame here. Yay! So we just need four IP screws for that, and I have one too many. So you can go back in your home. Thank you for your service, though. Alrighty, so we are orienting this. Uh, how? So it looks like we're going... Uh, I'll just... Best way for me to do this, just do it. The way it's pictured here, there we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna sit right here, like that. And this should just sit right here. Just the point of getting everything cleared. There it goes, we gotta drop down. Okay. Noise, noise, noise. So now we just need four IP screws. We're gonna go right here. So let's get the screw in. Let's get number one in here. Are you not finding your home? Where are you? Go in your home. Come on. There we go. I see your home. It's right there. There we go. Why are you resisting? How dare you? How dare you? I thought we were friends. <laughs> Just point again, everything lined up just right. There we go. Okay. That's. And. These two back ones. Again, let's get everything lined up just right. For minimal interference. Yeah, slip it over. And get everything lined up. There we go. Now we can snug in. And snug in once. And snug in twice. And snug in three times. Or thrice. And quattro. Okay, lovely. There we go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It's looking like a thing. I love it when it starts to look like a thing. Alrighty, so now what are we doing? Now we are doing uh, hoses here. We have hoses. So you have one, two, three, uh, four hoses. And each of these are. Uh, lettered, so I need to reference the instructions real quick so I know which one is which. So let me do that real quick before I continue. Okay, I got these sussed out, so we're all good. So what we're doing here is we're taking the shortest one. That's what we're using first. That one's going in here. I don't know if we have to do any hose stretching. Maybe not. Nope, that went just fine. And then we take the next biggest one that is sitting here. There we go. Oh, very nice. Glad we don't have to do any hose stretching. Lovely. And then the next biggest one will go in here. Right there. Lovely. Okay, alrighty, so we did that. So now where are these going? These are swinging around to uh, the underside. Okay, so it looks like um, these do have a specific order. So this is uh, DC, so this is BCD. So B is going here. 
So just plugging in. That's going to be a little bit of a pain, huh? I can see. Come on. Hmm. How many tweezers for this? Let me retrieve some tweezers. See if this helps any with the insertion process. There we go. I did the job. Yay! All right. Cool. I don't know how far in that's supposed to go, but okay. So B, uh, C goes into the third opening. Come on, come on tweezers. Work with me tweezers. Okay, that one went in nice and easy. Okay, I don't know how far in that's supposed to go. But we're gonna, we're just, we're just gonna go with it. And the last one goes right in the middle. So I'm going to snake this through like this. I think that's probably the best way to go about this. And that goes in here. There we go. And that went thin, went in without issue. Okay. So there we go. We got that going on. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. So next, we are installing two heat sinks, number one and number two, right here, and that's all that's in that tray, I can get out of my life, and these are going right up front here, we are going to be tightening these wires also, that's why we have zip ties, um, so these are going to be going right up front, so it looks like this one's going right here. They do provide you with little posts, which is nice to locate them. And this one is just going right there. Okay, so this will take the RP screws. And these are the tiny screws, so I need my tiny screwdriver. Let me retrieve that. Here it is. And this is going to be... Ooh, this is going, this is going to be, this is going to be, I think, something I have to do off camera because I need this up close and personal so I can get these screws in, so I'm going to do this part real quick. Okay, there we go. We got those heat sinks in. Lovely, lovely. Yeah, tiny screws, tiny screws. Not fun to mess with the tiny screws. <laughs> so now we just have this last hose and this is going to just coil around these two heat sinks. So what I have to do is, I have to do, I have to do this. This is what I have to do. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that off camera. This is definitely gonna be an off camera thing, so let me get to, uh, you know, coiling. I'll just, yeah, uh, I'll be right back with you. Okay, there we go. We got that all nice and coiled there, the way they wanted us to. Alrighty, so. That is done, so now uh, we just have to do some uh, wire tidying. That's why they gave us these little zip ties here. They gave us five. Looks like we only need two of them. But hey, it's okay. I can always use some extra zip ties. So what are they wanting us to do? They just want us to take these and just run them along this, this beam right here. That's all they want of us. It's all they want of us. So, just get one fed through, if I can. There we go. So, get that one tidied up. I'm not going to tighten this too much because I always like to have a little bit of room for the... I like to have some, some wiggle room for the wires personally, so... I'm not going to tighten it up too tight. It's tight enough to hold them, but not too tight that they can't, you know, move at all. I have to be able to be able to, yeah. Come on. A little bit more. So it's snug, but not too snug. Right about there. There we go. We saw some freedom of movement. Yeah, that makes me happy. There we go. That makes me happy. That makes me smile. 
Okay, so now we'll do another one that just has to go right here. So I'll just feed that through. And we end snug in the wires. Where are you? You stay here. You will stay here with me. You will stay here with me forever. Okay. Again. Snug, but not too snug. We want these under. Also. There we go. And I think I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Yeah. Okay. I'll snip off the excess. Um, actually, no, I have my nippers right here. I can just snip this off right now. So, snip, boop, nip, boop, and there we go. And we have some nice and snugging wires there. Okay, there we go. Nice and clean, and uh, yeah, that is, I believe, all there is to do in this stage that is it this is what the assembled pieces should look like and that is in fact what the assembled piece looks like there we go our roof rack is nearing completion oh it's looking lovely looking lovely it's actually like a whole piece now love it love it love it love it so there you go now if you would like to sign up for any of Fan Homes kits. There'll be a link in the description down below for you to check out. And if you missed any stage of this build, there is a playlist in the description down below as well for you to check out at your leisure. You can watch this lovely ghost busting vehicle take shape before your very eyes. So there you go. As always, I hope you enjoyed this exciting episode of MGO Build Stuff. And remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Palm in your face.